from a trip we did in 2013 to Copenhagen and I went with a designer uh, that I worked with and we always loved going to Copenhagen because it's so inspirational and we had dinner with a friend of ours and she was um, actually she was German but she was living in Copenhagen and we were talking about mint velvet and how the sort of relaxed glamorous ethos that we had really resonated with the Danish way of life and I said to her, I really wanted to do a sort of at-home range, you know, um, sort of pyjamas and cosy things to be in. And she said, oh, that sounds really hoogly. And I said, what's that? I've never even heard of that word. And then she explained it to me. And I thought, that's exactly what I want this range to feel like. I don't want it just to be a range of clothes. I want to be something that really warms your heart and gives you that sense of well-being. translation of the word hygge, it's more of a feeling or an emotion and it's a word that's really rooted in the Danish culture um, and if you think of Denmark um, they often have quite cold and, and sort of long drawn out winters yet they're one of the happiest nations and that in a lot of ways I think is partly due to the hygge um, state of play they have which is very much one of taking joy in the simple things in life um, so whether that's you know at home just enjoying you know, an evening by the fire watching Netflix or if it's out in a lovely sort of hunkered down cafe having a coffee. Um, and I think the word really engenders a, just a sense of well-being. The range has really evolved over the years. When we first did it in 2013, it very much had sort of loungewear and knitwear at the heart of it. But as that has become more and more part of what we're wearing in our everyday lives, we've concentrated more on the nightwear element because that is ultimately where the cosiness really um, is at the heart of all of our lives, I think. Um, and we've concentrated more on self-pampering, so that's where we looked at having beautiful eye masks, lovely cosy slippers, and still having wraps and things like that to go with it, but it's really about um, staying in and um, nourishing your soul. I think it is more than just clothes, it is actually a sense of well-being um, and it's all those things that nourish your heart so you know even like how I've decorated my house is quite hoogly, um, I've gone for sort of stripped down but lots of lovely warm textures um, and when I think of my favourite hygge moments they would definitely be you know maybe when you go outside and you're walking with friends but then you want to come home and you sort of hunker down in front of the fire, have crumpets and watch a movie. Um, and I just think everybody needs those kind of moments to really um, warm the heart.